Hello and welcome to another episode of Patents TV. I'm your host Jeff Bond and today it's episode 60. So we've hit another little milestone there as we count by tens. Today is our special vendor presentation and I have with me Beth Ahmad and she's with Prentke Romic Company, uh, aka um, PRC. Yes. And you've got some devices here that you're going to show us, yes. um, three different ones. and. Um, can you give us a little idea as to what you have? Absolutely. Well, thank you, Jeff, for introducing me. Thanks for having me here today. I'm really excited to be here. Um, I do want to put in a little plug real quick for the Patents Tech Expo on Thursday. I hope you all are planning on coming. I will definitely be there. It promises to be a very informative and engaging event, as always. For sure. And um, I will have a PRC booth there where people can come and interact with the devices, ask me questions right. about our products and services. And then I'm also doing a presentation at 1230 okay. called What's New with PRC? And I hope I will see every one of you there. Great. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Today I really want to focus on the flexibility of PRC systems. So I want to share with you a little bit about our current line. Um, this is the Accent line of communication devices. Uh, the Accent 800 is an 8-inch screen. You measure that from corner to corner like most um, screens. The Accent 1000 is a 10-inch screen. And then the Accent 1400 here is a 14-inch screen. Now you might be wondering, what happened with Accent 1200? Well, it's actually been retired very recently. Um, the Accent 1400 isn't even in full production yet, so uh, that won't happen until mid-May, but I do have a demo that I can't wait uh, to show you. A sneak preview. A sneak preview, Great. very exciting. Um, so what's really nice about our systems that um, I want to make sure everyone knows is that we have a lot of different ways that you can access these systems. So direct selection using um, touch. You can also use switches and scanning, which I'm going to demo. Um, head pointing, I didn't bring that with me today, but um, we can talk about that. And then also using like a mouse or a joystick. Mm -hmm. We do also have what's called new eye. It's an eye gaze system here that goes on the bottom of the 1400. This eye gaze system is also also available for the Accent 1000, so I could put it here, um, but it does not go on the Accent 800. This one is a little too small for eye gaze access. So um, that's the versatility in the hardware. Um, now most people are pretty familiar with our language message at mm -hmm. PRC. We talk about really building um, language skills in a developmental sequence using lots of core vocabulary and incorporating motor planning and aided language stimulation, which is really just modeling. Um, but I want to um, make sure that everyone knows that we have a lot of ways that we can customize our systems to really meet their students' needs. Um, most people are familiar with our two of our language systems, uh, Unity and Words for Life, uh, but we have a lot more to offer, and mm -hmm. so I'm really going to um, kind of demo that for you today. A lot of our goal when we're teaching our um, language message is really we want our AAC users to be able to say anything to anyone at any time. We call that snug or spontaneous and novel utterance generation. Um, if you're really interested in learning about the um, methodology behind what we do, we offer a training called LAMP or Language Acquisition Through Motor Planning. And you can check out the website, let's show them that, for the Center for AAC and Autism there, aacandautism.com where you can find information about what is LAMP and you can also go to LAMP training and sign up for training. We do have one here in Indianapolis scheduled on May 8th. So if you're interested in learning more about that, please check that out. All right. So do you have students who would benefit more from say a word-based core vocabulary program with quick access to a keyboard. Um, I'd like to start by showing you the Word Power 60 program on my Accent 800. Um, I, let's see here, it might be easier if I come around here and show you. All right. So um, what you notice about this system is that it's still core vocabulary based, but they are um, more word based instead of icon or picture based. And it's pretty easy to I put together. Like to eat cheese. I like to eat cheese. <laughs> 
So um, nice core vocabulary, very quick access to the keyboard. You do have uh, word prediction available in word power, as well as lots of room to customize um, your vocabulary. This word power program, and I, that's what I should make very clear, is that all of the software systems, the vocabulary systems that I'm going to show you today are available in all of our pieces of hardware um, in any of the Accent devices. So um, keep that in mind. Just because I'm showing this on the 800 doesn't mean you can't get it on, on other devices. Um, I also would like to show you something that a lot of people don't know exists. Did you know that our beloved Unity program comes in Spanish? Well, uh, this is called Puente 84, and it is the Spanish version of Unity at 84 locations. Um, we do have a lot of um, kids in Indiana who have bilingual devices from PRC. They use the Spanish side when they're at home primarily, and the English side when they're at school. So uh, this is a really unique system for them to be able to have access to both of those languages. So for those of you who don't know how to speak Spanish, I'm going to say I like to eat cheese in Spanish. Me gusta comer queso. Me gusta comer queso. <laughs> I actually do like to eat cheese, and it's almost lunchtime, so. <laughs> um, here is a, a very easy way to take us from the Spanish language right over into English. It's just with a touch of a button, we can link that up, and. Um, this is really cool. This is really cool. <laughs> and with another touch of the button, we can go straight back to Spanish. Very easy to toggle between those. So I really wanted to show you that option. A lot of people, it's one of those little known kinds of things. One more thing I'd like to share with you on this device before we move to the Accent 1000 um, are a couple of features that allow us to enhance the visual um, outlook of the screen. So let me go ahead and show you this. The language program I'm going to demo now is called Essence. This is typically a program that we use with a lot of adults. It's basically a talking keyboard, but I have found a couple of students who really just prefer to spell everything. And so if you have students like that who'd like to spell and, and store some pre-programmed messages, this might be for you. Um, so I thought I would just show a little clip of it today. But really what I want you to focus on here is some of the visual changes I've made to the screen. Um, the first thing is that I can change the background, the skins, to um, a black color, darken that up. You can really do any color you want. If you wanted to make it bright yellow, you could. Um, and then also you see that I've increased what we call the key padding or the spacing between the keys. Um, and what this really does is it allows a person to target the icon much more accurately. This is a particularly useful feature when we're using eye gaze because it draws your eye to the center of the icon and that's exactly where we need it. I've also seen kids that we thought might need a key guard to begin with, um, but once we add this spacing and kind of give that visual separation, we find out that they are much more accurate and they don't need that key guard anymore. Um, I've also seen some kids who have a difficult time visually attending to the screen. I think sometimes those, that brightness of the keys in the background being white um, really makes it hard to keep focusing on the screen for a long period of time. So if you have kids who are visually inattentive to the screen, this is a really cool trick to change that background, add that key padding. just makes it a lot easier on the eyes um, when you're using that. I've also created a couple of buttons to show you here that you can customize buttons on any page to uh, be any size you want them to be. Um, these I actually programmed as word prediction oh. keys. So if I started with a letter, you're going to see my word prediction down here instead of me having to target it way up here in this top line. Just makes it a little bit easier all around. Okay, so I'm going to move on over now to the Accent 1000. And um, I'd like to show you our newest program here called Core Scanner. 
um, what we've always promoted is motor planning and um, you know core vocab, motor planning, core vocab, motor planning. But that's always been really hard for us to target with kids who use switches because um, the language systems just weren't set up in a way that you could start with a couple of words and then build up to lots of language and keep the motor plans consistent. Well, now we have an option for that, and this is called Core Scanner. What I'm showing you here is called Cornerstones. It's a particular area within Core Scanner that gives me eight single core words and allows me to um, move through those words and make selections. So I'm going to show you how to say the word go here. I have a move it switch and a get it switch. So you can hear the auditory prompt voice sounds a little robotic and the actual voice output sounds more natural. I'll do it one more time. Four, stop, go, no. Notice how I hit the move it switch three times and then I select the get it switch one time. I'm going to show you really quickly. Um, if I go up to the next level, how I say um, the word go at this level. So now you can see we've expanded the vocabulary. We have lots more available here so we can continue to grow and build language. But let's see how I say go here. Four, stop, go, go. It's the same motor plan. Go. So isn't that really nice that Four, you have stop, go, those go, motor plans? Go. Um, in, involved in the system as you continue to grow and build through it. Um, it's really exciting for me. We do have a YouTube channel it's called PRC Access and we beta tested the Core Scanner program with a lot of kids before we actually put this out there. You can see a lot of their videos on um, our PRC Access channel. And finally, I'm going to scoot over here to our beautiful new Accent 1400. And I just want to show you quickly how easy it is to um, set up this system. So the first thing is you're going to be looking for your eye gaze positioning. You've got a couple of graphics here and a nice um, camera screenshot of your face as you're sitting there. And then how easy it is to calibrate. I just calibrated at a one point. This system allows you to calibrate anywhere from zero to nine points. Um, we can do a lot of cool things with just a one point calibration. So I wanted to show you that today. I love this feature the most. It may seem silly, but you can uh, touch this little window here and that will engage your eye gaze and touch it again and it will pause it. That's really nice as the facilitator because kids eyes are always faster than my hand when I'm trying to set things up. So that's always a nice feature. I'm going to go ahead and unpause myself. You, you want that. All right, so. Go. Play. Game. Okay. That gives you an idea of how that works. One more thing I want to show you here is a program we have called Look to Learn. Look to Learn is a, is a different company's um, software that has been installed. Whenever you buy a device with New Eye, you will get access to this system. Look to Learn is just a series of activities and games that are really fun for T teaching eye gaze skills because believe it or not using your eyes to activate things on the screen is not an intuitive skill it does take some practice so this one is called fruit punch and as you look at the fruit I had a little boy I'll stop that you get the idea um, I had a little boy whose dad uh, had had a stroke and his dad was playing this game and he told me my dad is so cool because he can punch with his eyes. <laughs> so um, I think that's really fun. Lots of different games in there, um, but I won't belabor the point. Um, so that is what I wanted to show you today. Do you have any questions? I don't, Beth, but this, these are really neat devices. Um, and it offers communication for a variety of people that 
really don't, don't have access verbally. Absolutely, right. absolutely. We are a very mission-driven company, and um, this is what I love to do, and I'm just excited to, to meet you, meet your students. Come see me at the Tech Expo on Thursday. Um, let me know if you have any questions. We can pull up my contact information sure. if you'd like to see that, and everybody can get a hold of me. Thanks for having me here today. Oh, well, thank you for coming. We really yeah. appreciate it. All right. Well, that'll wrap up um, another episode of Patents TV. So, again, thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you next time. Okay.